Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Taylor Lauren here. Here on my channel, I talk about my life as a beauty queen, as a wife and as a mom. So if that content interests you, then just keep on watching. Y'all, today I'm going to be sharing with y'all ways that I make extra money as a stay-at-home mom. I'm not gonna make this a video of how you can make extra money as a mom because what works for you what works for me may not work for you. What I'm willing to do to make extra money, you may not be willing to do. Talents and skills that I have, you may not have. So I'm just gonna tell you what's been working for me and hopefully that'll get your gears grinding and um, get you thinking about what could work for you. There are a plethora of videos on YouTube um, on how to make money, extra money in general, how to make money, um, how to make extra money as a stay at home mom everything from working at night working part-time starting a business starting a youtube channel how to make extra money quick how to make extra money over time how to make passive income all it's, it's all here okay so i'm not going to repeat what is already out there some of those videos have helped me some of those have not but i'm just gonna let y'all know what has been working for me um and the things that um, I like to do and things that I'm willing to do to make extra money. So if that interests you, then keep on watching. Can we just have like a moment for my cute little fall decor? Like y'all see my garland of my fireplace. I have my pumpkin blanket right here. This little pumpkin here, I actually had to get a baby pumpkin for Blair to take to school to decorate. I can't wait to see what she does with it. And then I got us a white pumpkin to carve. Um, one of my favorite childhood memories is carving pumpkins um, with my parents. We would do it like every year and my mom would oven roast the pumpkin seeds and it would just be so, so yummy and I can't wait to start that tradition with my own little family. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into the video. So I have a list here of things that I have been doing to make extra money as a mom, whether that money is um going to my household whether um it's something for blair whether it's something for me um whatever the case is so the first thing that i have is consignment so we have two once upon a child um, in our area so i don't know if y'all have heard of like plato's closet mentors closet and once upon a child they're essentially these consignment stores where you can sell your clothes and get cash on the spot now depending on where you are some of the locations are pretty picky but one of the ones that i go to in my area um has been really really good i'm in i'm in once upon a child probably like twice a month selling it's actually a once upon a child in a player's closet and i'm probably in both of those stores like once a month selling Blair's clothes and my clothes and um, well I'm probably in there twice a month actually and if I make two good trips twice a month um, that's probably an extra hundred dollars um, that I can get from that for the month I can probably get like 30 to 50 dollars for Blair's clothes and about like 30 to 50 dollars for my stuff so on a good month um, it's about a hundred dollars now i have better luck with blair's clothes because she's a two-year-old she's constantly growing we're constantly like getting new clothes new socks um you know just shoes and, and stuff for her in general so i definitely have better luck with her as she's growing versus my clothes that like you know i'm done growing um so yeah that's something that i have loved to utilize as a mom i have even shopped there a few times outside of selling like um if blair just needs like a couple more pair of pants or leggings or something um to go with a few tops um i'll do that it's a great resource i think for moms in general but especially if you consider yourself like lower income like myself um you can get like gently used stuff from there and then you know sell sell stuff back so really utilize consignment um, whatever they don't buy I just what I do is I just keep like a big bag um, in Blair's closet and if nothing's fitting anymore it goes in that bag and once that bag gets full typically you know about once or twice a month I make a trip and I keep things in there for at least three trips because it it is different like you never know who what cashier is working in the store that day someone may be more particular than someone else i have had stuff that didn't sell one trip but i kept it and it sold the next trip so 
So probably after about three trips, if something is still in there that hasn't sold, then I will donate it to Goodwill. So y'all just think about that before you give it away, before you donate your kids stuff that they've outgrown, try to sell it. Um, and then if it doesn't sell, then you can donate it to Goodwill, obviously, if it's still like usable and in decent condition. Um, if it's not, then just, you know, throw it away. But that's something that I have really enjoyed, um, just selling Blair's clothes on consignment and then shopping for her on consignment as well. Actually, I got her first pageant dress from Once Upon a Child. So that has been just really helpful for like an extra $50, an extra $100 a month that can go towards diapers and wipes. It can go towards groceries. It can go to anything that Blair needs for school um you know what have you so that's the first thing that i have for y'all is consignment in addition to consignment facebook marketplace selling on facebook marketplace and then buying secondhand on facebook marketplace to save it a bit of extra money i have sold probably recently when we moved into the home we're in now we're trying to get a bedroom set um, for that guest room. So I sold a futon. I sold our wine rack because Blair's always messing with the wine and messing with the glasses. So I just made space for them in the cabinets. Sold that. Um, we've sold um, her some of her like baby furniture, like her sit me up seat, her playpen. I think we sold like one on Facebook Marketplace sold one to the consignment shop just different stuff like that like clean out your house clean out your closet and sell stuff on facebook marketplace and also you know you can buy stuff on facebook marketplace as well whether that's like home decor or kids furniture strollers what have you um so utilize second hand stuff um before you buy like outright and new a lot of people depending on like the area that you live in like we're in a, a fairly like family oriented like affluent area people tend to take care of their stuff um so if you can get something that's gently used or if you can sell your gently used stuff that's another one so consignment and facebook marketplace another one another thing that i've been doing that is kind of like a specialized skill set for me is i have been gigging more i've probably get, been getting more requests to perform now that i'm a wife and a mom than i did when i was like single and in school and actually like studying um i've had maybe two or three gigs maybe within the past um maybe within like the past four months um, that have been paid gigs and for me especially now as a busy wife and mom that's a lot when i was younger and single i was performing a lot more um but because of my experience level at that point not all of my gigs were paid um the return on investment may not have always been the best let's say if i had to drive like an hour or two for a gig and i only had like a five to ten minute set like you had like those like your time costs money too so you have to think about it that way um but now <laughs> um, I'm, I'm getting more requests and, I, and i'm getting a lot more and I'm, i've come to a place now where i've been performing for oh i've been trained and performing for 20 years i started my vocal and my dance training when i was nine years old i'm about to be 30 like I'm not performing for free anymore. Um, I just had a gig this past weekend, and um, that that like that's a special skill set for me. Like I started my artistic training at nine. I went to a performing arts high school and got my undergraduate degree in music and dance performance. So um, it may be another specialized skill set for you. Maybe you went to school for like marketing and advertising or like graphic design, and that's something. Um, that you can offer um, some sort of like consulting um, but for me it's been gigging and that's like um you know at least like an extra hundred dollars per gig that I can that I um, do maybe for like a five to ten minute set that can go towards you know whatever um, my family's need is at the time so and that's been really fun as well for me to like get back into the swing of that and to kind of be learning and being around other musicians 
because when I became a wife and a mom, I was just kind of like, okay, I'm not going to be performing for a while, at least until like, you know, Blair is school age, like kindergarten. Um, but now, ironically, I have been getting like more requests to perform places. And I think it just goes to show that you can still live your dreams at any age. Um, I have considered myself like a late bloomer in a lot of ways. And I consider that I have, I would think that I have blossomed in a lot of areas of my life as I've gotten older and a lot of things have started to pop off for me and I've experienced more success in things where I have felt like I was, you know, in the after prime of it. So it's just, you know, very interesting how the success that you want when you're younger that you're yearning for comes to you like much later in life after you have kind of already settled with the fact of your life can still be great without that thing happening and then it happens to you um so yeah so that's been fun for me and that's another way that i make extra money as a mom by gigging and by performing um, the next thing, I have two more things on this list for y'all. The next one is babysitting. Um, so if y'all been following my channel for a while, you know, before I had Blair, um, I was a nanny for 10 years. And then even after she was born, I nannied again for about six to eight months. And now I am working from home part time. And, um, that has always been something that I kept in the, in my back pocket, even now that I'm working and I'm not nannying um, as, as like my main form of income anymore. I still have families that I've used to work for that will ask me to babysit on the weekend or what have you. Um, so that's something that I can always have is like, you know, a little side hustle or what have you. Um, and you can even take it like a step further. If you're a stay at home mom, you can open a daycare in your home. You can do what I did after I became a mom and you can nanny for families who are okay with you bringing your child to work or even have them drop their kid or their kid off at your home if that's more convenient for you and it just be like an in-home daycare preschool type of thing. Um, and maybe you could have your kid and maybe like an extra kid or two. Um, so that's always something that you can do um, if you enjoy just being around children in general. If you enjoy children, and not just being a mom to your kid. Um, I think if this is something that you're gonna do, you have to realize that you have to treat all of the children on an even playing field, um, and you have to respect the way other people want their children to be treated and loved and cared for. Um, and you just, you have to be able to have that good balance. Um, just because you're a good mom doesn't mean you're a good child care provider if that makes sense some people are not able to care for children diligently outside of their own children so if you're gonna do that still take it seriously you're still caring for other people's kids um so make sure you keep that in mind if babysitting or starting like a small in-home daycare is something um that you want to do okay and the last one that I have for y'all, this is also a special skill set for me. Hopefully it'll make you think about the special skill sets that you have and how you can make money from them. And that is pageant coaching and consulting. So I've been competing in pageants for about a little over 10 years um, since I was 15, about to be 30. Um, so about 15 years I've been in the pageant industry and the pageant world. Um, and when, after I got my, um, Miss State title, I started offering consulting services. That was kind of a goal of mine. And now that I'm a wife and a mom, um, I can realistically for me, competing for me as a Mrs. looks like one pageant, like every two years. So in the meantime, to just supplement that and to stay relevant and to stay in the industry, I offer coaching services to, um, my teen and miss clientele and that has really made me it really makes me feel fulfilled because i'm able to kind of see a little bit of myself in the girls that i work with and and help them not only with their stage presence but with making decisions on you know the system that they should compete in and what that looks like for them financially especially um my my miss clients who are a bit more independent um 
So yeah, that's something, that's another service that I offer or like another side hustle that I'm able to do to um, keep money in my pocket. And I will tell you guys, all of these are like side hustles and ways that I make extra money that I truly and thoroughly enjoy. I think that's important um, because something that I have learned and learning in this journey of being like a stay at home mom who really has to watch her pockets is there is no amount of money that is worth your physical health or your mental health like money comes and goes financial situations are always going to be up and down but you have to be able to take care of yourself and, and take care of your family if it comes to me and my family living in a cardboard box we're going to be happy and we're going to be healthy to the best of our ability um and the provision will come you can only do what you can do in in the moment um and you do the best that you can and and god will do the rest in due time so those are ways that i make extra money as a stay-at-home mom i hope these were helpful i hope they were insightful i hope it got you thinking about you know experience and skill sets and soft skills and hard skills that you have um and resources that you can use to keep a little money in your pocket girl um so thank y'all for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye